After all the antics that the Los Angeles Clippers pulled a couple years ago and crowning themselves as the Kings of LA and then getting embarrassed, blown a 3-1 lead against the Denver Nuggets in the second round, nobody, absolutely nobody takes them seriously and gives almost none of their players any credit. Guys like Paul, who calling me boy? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, this man DeMar. Hold on, I'm almost done. What? I'm midway through recording right now. Give me a second. Is this live? Yes, look. I'm IDEC, baby. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, Paul George was one of the most hated NBA players. Whenever he had an off game, he would, his name would be trending on Twitter. They would call him Playoff P. Literally, when I say Playoff P, they would say Playoff then P-E. Like, literally, P. Piss. Because he kind of was pissed in the playoffs, but he redeemed himself. And I believe he gained a lot of respect that he deserved. And also, I'm starting to say and believe that the Los Angeles Clippers as a team deserve a lot more respect than they're getting. Now, their NBA draft was kind of polarizing and they made good moves for the most part but the whole Keon Johnson thing like I just never understood how he was like seen to be as a lottery talent a top 20 talent or anything like that I don't think he deserved to be picked that high but I'm just gonna let that go my main focuses of this video are two other young players that the Los Angeles Clippers have now of course the face of their team are Paul George then it's Kawhi Leonard then it's Zubak, then you could say Reggie Jackson, and they have pieces on pieces, and Serge Ibaka can go on and on, but what a lot of people are not really realizing, and what a lot of people are not giving them credit for is the guys who will be up next once they're done. Guys like a Terrence Mann, super nice. He was drafted in the 2018 NBA draft. That draft class is looking better and better as each year goes by. Terrence Mann was like a 48th or 38th pick, bro. And he's not only one of the guys now for this team, but in the future, he's definitely gonna play a big part of their team as well. But someone who could play an even bigger part for their future is BJ Boston, Brandon Boston Jr. That's his actual name. Now, Brandon Boston Jr. is an Atlanta native, and I know a lot about him. Well, not too much about him because he played at a school just a few miles away from my house and then he went ahead and moved to Sierra Canyon in California then he went to go play for Kentucky all great things but when he went to go play for Kentucky I remember he was viewed as a top five top ten lottery pick bro in ESPN's rankings I remember this man was ranked at number seven or eight back in high school people viewed him as that nice a Paul George-esque type of player you know what I'm saying whenever you here Paul George S is just basically a 6'8, 6'7, 6'9 dude with a lot of dribble and wiggle to his game and swivel. And BJ Boston is quite literally that. Now BJ Boston didn't have the college season that I'm sure him and everyone else was really hoping and looking forward to. I ain't gonna lie, I'm talking right now and my lips are really dusty and dry, bro. Give me two seconds. Just look away while I'm doing this, alright? Or else it'll be kind of weird. I don't want to be touching my lips and then like looking at you mid video. That's weird, bro. Why I even put yourself in this position? Like I was saying, BJ Boston was supposed to be a top 12, 13, top 10 pick at least, bro. But as y'all know, things happen, narrative changes, injuries happen. Some players just aren't put in the right position and just don't perform to their highest standard. And he was one of those players who did not do those things. So, as expected, his draft stock plummeted. It was at dirt. So low to the point to where he was taken in the second round. That is still absurd to me. Now, if I'm a GM or a scout or whatever, I'm advising all teams like, hey, yo, BJ Boston, he's not a lottery pick, but this dude for damn sure has lottery talent. Just because you're not a lottery pick don't mean that you don't have lottery talent because there's a lot of players in the lottery who don't have that lottery talent yet but we could eventually start being that in a couple of years from now and, and BJ Boston already has that type of talent it's a, just a matter of fact of whether or not he can put it together BJ Boston is not the only player that I want to focus on for the Los Angeles Clippers now it sucks that I'm making this video today because literally like four hours ago news came out that this man is out for not the remainder of the NBA season, but for a good chunk of the season because he just had ankle surgery today. And that player is Jason Preston. Now, if you know the slightest thing about Jason Preston, then you would know or at least be familiar with redhead, light-skinned dude, and he basically has had one of, if not the most heartwarming stories coming out of college. Jason Preston is a 6'4". He looks like he's bigger than 6'4", actually, but he's 6'4". 
pass first point guard with a lot of unique skills that he can bring to the game and a lot of unique skills that he's going to bring to the Los Angeles Clippers. But before he was able to go ahead and be the person that he is today, I'm just gonna let you know that this man, he has, if you're sleeping on him now, that ain't no issue because he's been slept on literally his entire life. His high school career, he averaged just two more points than me and you. Some of y'all played high school basketball watching this video right now and you average more than two points. Maybe average two and a half or three. That's still good. Jason Preston though, he just averaged two points. That is absurd and he was so down bad in his college days and prep days that this man had to go ahead and create his own mixtape, his own AAU mixtape specifically. The mixtape was stupid. He got a couple offers, really two offers from D1 schools. And one of them was of course from Ohio. And as soon as he stepped foot, not his freshman year, of course he was kind of dookie, but after that, he took off. And he took off to the point to where he got a lot of NBA scouts and also, I'm not a scout, but he got my eyes too and my attention. Just thinking about a core of BJ Boston and Jason Preston who fit each other's game like extremely well, the Clippers are up to no good. And a lot of people are gonna be surprised by this in a couple of years time. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's because y'all refuse to give the Clippers any type of respect because they are the Los Angeles Clippers. Don't let Jason Preston fly under your radar. Don't let BJ Boston, who is lightweight, who is, you can label him as raw, but he still is super talented, hella skilled, has all the handles, he's tightened up his handles since he's been training under an NBA team. His shot looks a lot better. He just needs to improve on his shot selection, of course, gain some weight. But once those things get solved and figured out, and he starts training more and more under some of the greatest small forwards, that we've ever seen play this game in Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, bro, that's a problem. You can't tell me it's not gonna be a problem. There's no way in hell he's not gonna pick up any intangible or tangible skills from Kawhi Leonard and Paul George and not apply that to his own game so he can go ahead and become that BJ Boston that a lot of fans always knew and thought that he could be. Jason Preston, now of course he doesn't have no one to mentor under like that. Like, yeah, he has Reggie Jackson and Eric Bledsoe. I wouldn't say they're the greatest mentors, but that's something. But more so, I'm just I'm just throwing the idea out there of Jason Preston so you can be aware and be well known as to who he is. A pass force point guard whose shot is a little funky, but when it comes to his vision, it's everywhere, bro. There's not a shot, there's not a pass that he cannot make in the NBA. So yeah, this is just a quick little video about the Los Angeles Clippers. I just really wanted you guys to get some of your focus towards BJ Boston. I know, I know, I know he's not a popular name like that, but if he ends up being on an All-NBA second team because of Kawhi Leonard's like, presence not being there and him getting more opportunity, that's another thing too. He's only a hell of opportunity. Do not be surprised. All-NBA second team, I wouldn't be surprised with the damn thing, bro. That's that. Look out for the Los Angeles Clippers in their future. They have two young, talented players that I hope you won't sleep on. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you're still watching. I appreciate you for watching. And until then, I'll get right with you. Make your day great.